This is Halloween. This is Halloween. 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 Roll and clear. What's up, losers? Welcome back. If you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and do it. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up or whatever. Let's just get right into it. Halloween is here. She has approached, she has arrived, and clearly she has somewhere to be because October is almost gone, baby. I wanted to talk about Halloween Kills, Michael Myers, the new movie. Have you seen it? Leave it in the comment section down below if you have. Let me know in the comment section down below if you're going to go see it. You know, I've been, I, I've seen, I've seen a lot of mixed, whatever. I've seen a lot of mixed reactions about the film. Um, guys, it's Michael Myers. What did you, did you really think it was going to jump way, way out of character? It's going to more or less stay true to what it is. It, 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 this, is this isn't a new movie. It's not necessarily a remake. Is it continuing on? I said what I said. Is it continuing on of, of the original narrative? But guys. You, you gotta know it's gonna be one of those movies that it's gonna be a little bit predictable. Okay, so why are we surprised? Now don't get me wrong, there was a lot of people that enjoyed the movie, that liked the movie. I'm one of those people. Look, on a scale of 1 to 10, I'm gonna have to give it a 7.3-ish. I, I, look, I thought it was okay. Look, a lot of people were upset because my man didn't get killed right off. Why would you think he was gonna get killed off? Why would you think that they gonna kill him off? He's the main character. They kill him off as his finito. Can't make any more movies. Well, Chanel, they could make movies about the backstory. They not gonna do that. You don't kill off your main character. You barely kill off the, 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 the second to main characters. Why? Because you need to be able to continue the storyline. And even when you kill people off, who are your main characters you got to do it in a way that leaves the door open to be able to continue the story unless you're Shonda Rhimes and you just go around killing off anybody your main character I'm surprised she hasn't killed off Meredith Grey but that's a whole nother rant for a whole nother video when you're writing a, a, a story when you're doing a movie when you're doing books you gotta leave it a little bit open-ended so just in case you want to revisit a storyline, you can realistically bring, bring them, realistically bring them back or bring that plot back. So why are we surprised? Another thing that people were really upset about is because it kind of seems like they're introducing this narrative of that Michael Myers is more than just a man, that he is, that he's evil, that he's more of like an evil spirit mixed with a human being and that's why he cannot be demolished and people are like well they did it in the most lazy way possible if that's the narrative they're gonna push why would they give you the whole narrative in this movie when they could create a whole nother movie explaining that more without using too many spoilers that was a narrative that they pushed that that they kind of introduced at the end of the movie so why would they cram it all in at the end of the movie or risk making the movie way longer than it needed to be <laughs> come on guys you got to create future narratives so you can continue on with the franchise duh use your creative mind use your business mind i mean also look guys it's just for fun it's a halloween movie it's it's going to be a little bit predictable and if you don't know that if you're not familiar with michael myers and how that goes if you're not familiar with scary movies and how they go and how they're always just a little bit predictable how old are you are you old enough to be watching it or have you aged out you know, you had some people who were upset because of some of the things were not true to the original Michael Myers. Well, you know what? Look, they got to appeal to a new audience. <laughs> okay? Sometimes the original things of something you can't touch. And they don't need to be remade. But sometimes it doesn't matter how well a movie or a show is remade. You're not going to like it because it was not the one that you grew up with. Does that make sense? Y'all hear me? Y'all feel me? You know, you got a bunch of, you, you know, 35, 40 year olds, 50 year olds crying about shows and movies saying, oh, well, it's not, it's not the same. But that's right. It's not the same. You know why it's not the same? Because eventually we're all going to kick the bucket. I said what I said. We're all going to kick the bucket. And then they got to appeal to the next generation. Look, I'm not trying to be woo 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 woo, -woo but hey, let's just keep it tea. Let's just keep it real. But yeah, you know what I'm saying? I recommend Michael Myers because you had some you had some jump scares, but it wasn't like, oh, I can't go to sleep. Hold me. It wasn't like that. 
So if you don't mind a little bit of a jump scare that you can kind of see coming, but if you're not really like a gore person, if you don't like a lot of gore, probably not the movie for you. Maybe go check out Venom. That might be a little more family friendly. Venom's not necessarily a, a, a Halloween scary movie, but it still gives you that same kind of vibe if you want to do that. And it's a little more family friendly, which people were upset about Venom too, because they were like, well, it's nothing like the comic books. It's supposed to be rated R. Where was, where was the violence? Y'all. I mean, look, I liked Venom also. And I understand for people who, who are familiar with the original story of the comic book, maybe, you, you know, woo woo woo, I get it. Some people are just a purist. Maybe you're a purist of a sport and you don't like when they change the rules. Maybe you're a purist of books and you don't like when they turn them into TV shows and movies because it loses its essence. I get it. But y'all, uh, uh, lighten up. Anyways, that is my Halloween rant. I recommend the movie. If you're going to watch it, let me know in the comment section down below. Let me know your favorite Halloween movie in the comment section down below. Let me know what you think about all that drama. If you're going out for Halloween, be safe. All right, my camera's down, and I love you. Bye. Happy Halloween. Bye. Love you so much. Oh, say bye to my...